We're beginning our coverage with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's trip to Europe. And today is day two of his trip. He's going to be going to Copenhagen to meet his Danish counterpart in this European visit. Prime Minister Modi is going to be arriving in Copenhagen to hold a bilateral meeting with his Danish counterpart, Met Fredriksen. He's also going to be participating in second India Nordic Summit on 2nd May, which is today, on the first leg of the trip, he received a rousing, uh, sorry, uh, yesterday, he received, uh, received a rousing welcome from the Indian diaspora in Berlin. Prime Minister Modi addressed the Indian diaspora. He said innovators are being boasted in India. That means uh, we're boasting about innovators in India and it's become a land of startups with over 60,000 startups operating in the country. And uh, he also took a jibe at Congress and said there is no middleman in my government. All benefits and subsidies directly go to the people of India. India. On Monday, Prime Minister Modi addressed the Indian diaspora in Berlin. The speech, Prime Minister spoke about India's progress, hitting out at previous governments. He said the country is sane, but now the government gives results. Eight years ago, 200, 300, 400 startups. Today, 68,000 से भी ज्यादा स्टार्टअप्स दुनिया के सारे पैरामीटर्स कह रहे हैं कि इसमें दर्जनों स्टार्टअप्स यूनिकॉर्न बन चुके हैं पिछले साल पूरी दुनिया में हुए रियल टाइम डिजिटल पेमेंट्स कान खोल दो रियल टाइम डिजिटल पेमेंट में से मैं पूरी दुनिया की बात कर रहा हूं अब भारत छोटा नहीं सोचता है रियल टाइम डिजिटल पेमेंट में से 40 प्रतिशत भागीदारी भारत की है पहले तो हमारा हमारा देश की विशेषता देखिए साहब देश एक संविधान दो थे मालूम है ना दो संविधान थे सात दशक हो गए तो तो सात दशक हो गए एक देश एक संविधान लागू करते करते अब लागू हुआ दोस्तों पिछले सात आठ साल में भारत सरकार ने डीबीटी डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर सीधा एक क्लिक किया जो हकदार है उसके खाते में पैसे चले गए डायरेक्ट जो डीबीटी के द्वारा हमने पैसे भेजे वो अमाउंट है 22 लाख करोड़ रुपए से अधिक यानी अब आप जर्मनी में है तो आपको बता दो 300 बिलियन डॉलर से भी ज्यादा बेनिफिशियरीज के खाते में पैसे पहुंचे हैं बीच में कोई बिचौलिया नहीं कोई कट की कंपनी नहीं कहीं कट मनी नहीं सरकारी मदद हो स्कॉलरशिप हो किसान को फसल की कीमत हो सब कुछ अब डायरेक्ट बैंक अकाउंट में ट्रांसफर होते हैं अब किसी प्रधानमंत्री को ये कहना नहीं पड़ेगा कि मैं दिल्ली से एक रुपया भेजता हूं और पंद्रह पैसा पहुंचते हैं वो कौन सा पंजा था जो 85 पैसा घिस लेता था 
Minister Narendra Modi got a rousing welcome from the Indian diaspora in Berlin. And him, along with his German counterpart, ended up meeting to discuss the Russia-Ukraine conflict and try to find a plausible solution to the conflict and work towards a multipolar world order. Now, is that likely to happen or is that really a tall order? Let's find out. In the shadow of the Ukraine war, as conflict draws Europe and NATO into another whirlpool of uncertainty, these images couldn't possibly be speaking any louder. With fanfare typical of the Indian Prime Minister's foreign visits, Modi has begun a high-speed tour of Western Europe. While the United States has indulged in public lecturing and gyan over India's stand in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Germany has been praising India, recognizing just how singular India's foreign policy maneuvers on this issue have been. India numbers amongst those countries that are of greatest importance with regard to this perspective, not only because it is the country with the greatest, uh, biggest population, but also because of the part it plays and the share it has in the global economy. India is amongst the very important partners of ours here. The world can only develop well if we are clear as to the fact that future relations in the world will be characterized and marked by many countries, not by a few powerful countries. As head of the G7, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, like his predecessor Angela Merkel, shares a warm equation with the Indian Prime Minister. But that doesn't mean Germany isn't looking to leverage India to pile the pressure on Putin's Russia. Europe has specially aligned and these are the countries which have aligned itself against Russia. They call it the Russian invasion of uh, Ukraine. Uh, uh, India, as of now, has always maintained a very balanced stand on the entire issue, a neutral stand. So it's, it, it's a very important uh, geopolitical, if you talk about India's power, its emerging uh, uh, value of its stand in the entire Russia-Ukraine war and how Prime Minister Modi takes uh, this relationship forward with Europe. तो <laughs> 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 Into 200 yeah. power. Garba ke nritte ke saath jo josh yaha par mailao mein dikh raha hai, utsa tamam bharatiyo mein dikh raha hai, aur inke saath in sab ke beech ye garba ka wo rang hai jo Hindustan aur Hindustan ki badhti hui taakat ka ek nazara hai. Jab aap Germany mein Berlin mein aisi mehatpoorn jagah par jo sabse mehatpoorn imarat ek tarah se Brandenburg Gate hai, uske samne aap mini India dekhte hain. Soft power diplomacy ke saath saath ye dekhiye, ab yaha par jo maujood purush hai. वो भी गरबा करने लगे गुजरात का जो रंग और जोश यहां पर दिखाई दे रहा है उसको कोई रोक नहीं सकता उसको कोई टोक नहीं सकता The color and fervor that frames the start of Modi's Europe tour also carries a lot of signaling underscoring a popular leader who has spent the last two months navigating a series of global taunts for abstinence on Russia's invasion with this turbulent global scenario as a canvas, the Europe tour is Modi's first international platform to flex India's uniquely forged foreign policy. A message to the world that India shapes its own relations and cannot be pressured by any side. In this war, there will party in this war. Everyone will be destroyed. That's why from Germany, Modi heads to France, where a newly victorious President Emmanuel Macron is expected to sustain the warmth for the visiting Indian Prime Minister. Even while the Biden administration has taken public pot shots at India, the two European NATO powers have handled things much more delicately, recognizing that the time to lecture India on foreign policy is perhaps history. Bureau Report, India Today.
The opposition has hit out at Prime Minister Modi for the jibe that the Prime Minister took on the opposition on the middlemen uh, during the Congress regime and politics has peaked at the moment. Congress has slammed the Prime Minister, accusing him of behaving like a BJP karyakarta. Congress said Prime Minister must stop behaving like a BJP karyakarta and instead behave like a Prime Minister and that he's representing the whole country and not just the BJP voters. The backlash came after Prime Minister said that now no Prime Minister can say that they transferred one rupee but only 15 paise reached the people. Prime Minister in a veiled attack at Congress also said he wondered who's palmed, referring to Congress symbol rubbed off 85 paise.